One of the reasons I became a season ticket holder was because of the charitable outreach that this team does. Well, both my parents had cancer. Um, so yeah, it means a lot to me. It's just important to me that the team that I support is providing support to other people who really need it. My best friend passed after a short fight with brain cancer. Honoring her memory is important to me. Several of my family members have died from cancer and passed away. I definitely support the fight. It's a, an awful disease and I'm hoping that and the sooner they cure the better. I am a breast cancer survivor. My daughter is a leukemia survivor. Sometimes people just don't understand until you're really touched by it, what you really go through. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the ice your Washington Of the Washington Capitals wearing purple and highlighting pancreatic cancer awareness means so much to not only our patients currently fighting, but survivors and all caregivers knowing that the Capitals are behind us and really fighting for survivorship and demanding better for this disease. We picked four charities that we are benefiting, PanCan, LLS, Make-A-Wish Mid-Atlantic, and Flashes of Hope. So all month long we're raising money. The Lido Self Group is presenting a $40,000 check for Hockey Fights Cancer. We auctioned off uh, jersey sticks, pucks, and, and we took 50-50 uh, money and a couple of other donations to raise just over $116,000. The Hockey Fights Cancer Initiative can have a tremendous impact. In 2019, the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society is launching a pediatric cancer initiative. For decades, LLS has supported pediatric cancer research, but more needs to be done. And the vision for LLS is to improve the treatments, to make them easier, and to give these patients long, healthy lives long after treatments are over. Everybody's watching the Caps. Everybody loves to be a fan, and what a great opportunity to bring awareness to such an important cause. It is an honor to be joined tonight by Madeline and Ariella, who are here tonight on Hockey Fights Cancer Night, representing all the kids out there who are battling cancer. You guys are here on behalf of Make-A-Wish Mid-Atlantic, and I've heard that your guys' wish was already granted. What did you guys wish for? Where did you go? I wish to go to Australia and see the Great Barrier Reef, and we went last summer. My wish was to go to Disney World. In the Mid-Atlantic region alone, last year we granted over 450 wishes, so we're doing more than one wish a day. So when you donate to Make-A-Wish and you support the wishes we grant, you are really changing lives every single day. How old are you, Michaela? Five. You're five? There's something really special with Hockey Fights Cancer. I mean, so many of our wish kids are battling cancer, right, and they face so much daily. To see the smiles that come on their faces because players are taking time and really walking the walk or skating the skate with these kids is beyond words. Up high, down low. Do slow. Again. Again. Up high. Up high. Down low. Ah. The, the pictures are not only a tribute to these kids, um, but it's a sign of their strength at a time when, they, when things are so difficult. Flashes of Hope is a national nonprofit, and we arrange for professional portraits to be taken of children who are fighting cancer. These pictures mean so much to the kids. Actually, one mom stopped me just tonight who um, told me my child didn't think she was beautiful until she saw these photos. Um, so it's really very touching. We found out about Linda's cancer right during the Capital Stanley Cup run, and we said we need to fight it as a team. My cancer is rare, but half the cancers out there are considered rare and underfunded. I said to her, the Washington Capitals have asked you to drop the puck for Hockey Fights Cancer Night. The only question she asked me is, honey, how do I drop the puck? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I've seen it done. <laughs> I love the fact that OB gave Linda a big hug, which that was, was fantastic. Yeah. Total class. Yeah, that's good. Now it's time to see who you fight for. Get your I Fight For signs out. Raise them high. Get them in the air. Let's see those names. And let's drop the gloves on cancer.